Hey, what's poppin'? How y'all doing, man? So I wanted to share my experience and get your thoughts on this. I'm sure you guys have had similar uh, situations. So like, I was talking to a customer and, and he was real happy with the service. He's like, yeah, man, I'm glad they let you up in here. You know, Bl they were trying to hold us black black brothers down. And he's like, we gotta work twice as hard to make it in life. And I was gonna be like, dude, what kind of, A, am I work? Why are you telling me this? And B, that's all, stop the cap. This is 2022, you know? And I have heard this a lot in my life and I'm sure other people have as well. I heard it at the barbershop. Um, um, I hear it, you know, between friends. I've heard parents tell their kid children this. I've been the child from being told this from their parent. And I think it's kind of garbage now in the year 2022 that this is still going on. Like, um, I do believe that there still, still are some issues and some, you know, lingering problems that we are experiencing now from those uh, unfortunate events. I'm not denying that. But to say that we have to work twice as hard is a bunch of BS. And to also, um, to, to also tell them that they have to work, or work literally twice is hard just to be you know uh, just to be eye to eye is, is some crap i do not believe that i think it's a loser's mentality right and let's say that that is the case and let's say this is a game right and can you know i care about the black community i'm black i have a black son and i'm not going to tell my son this crap i'm going to tell him they should want you to have to work twice as hard because because you're that nice okay i say mentality that i have i'm more creative i'm more driven i'm more organized i'm I, like I, like i like like you gotta have that type of mentality you can't be out here doubting yourself in any form of competition and it technically is two different groups you know or multiple different groups you know if you're comparing yourself as a as a community blacks people versus all the other you know uh, races and ethnicities well, i don't i don't think that a that's healthy you know for you to be viewing it as a competition against it's, you know, a competition for superiority. For sport, okay. For sport and bragging rights, okay. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it gets a little Nazi-ish sometimes once you, like, you know, trying to fight for the superior race. <laughs> I just don't get to be on top. But seriously, you know, like I'm black, but like some of the pro black people be getting like a little carried away and it starts to wash over. And it's just not applicable in today's society. It's not going to help you make any money. Like, I just wish people would get real, man. Like, seriously. Um, me personally, I've experienced some racism. Like, we got in a car wreck and it was a car full of white people, right? whole bunch of marshmallows i'm the only chocolate chip and, you know most of my friends are white you know a good but good bit of my friends are white which is cool but so we wreck and when we get out the car and he's like oh yeah you got any warrants he checks them though he checks them to make sure that they're okay but for me he walks over and is like you got i know you guys got some warrants I know you guys got something in here only person got searched everybody else nothing they just get a smile hey how you doing you guys okay you know start calling the parents and stuff me you know he ain't even offered to carry my call my parents you know i'm over here salty because we were like 17 18 at the time you know but he he was treating me like a grown man but to be fair the hairline did look like i was 30 to be fair we're bald super hella early hella early but i've experienced moments moments like that you know and it's not like he shot me or anything or planted a bag like it, it's bad but it's not that bad okay it's not the same it's not the same but to say it's that bad to the point to where we're just like getting beaten in the streets and hosed down again i think it's some crazy you know with separate water fountains it's taking things a little bit too far and i don't just don't want my son to think that he's he's not going to be able to compete that if he works hard and grinds and if and ej if you're watching this i love you by the way and if he works hard and grinds and he gets good grades and he you know if he does sports you know he doesn't want to pay for college or if he wants to get some type of award for interest that he has let's say it's architecture or computer program i don't want him to think that if he, that he if he achieves the, these 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 great milestones and he's highly skilled that he can't compete in today's market are you tripping are you tripping? Are you smoking crack? You can absolutely do well. Just, come on, get real. I just think, God, come on, man. What, what are we doing? It's toxic. <laughs> I don't even like that word. <laughs> it's toxic. <laughs> like, with us, in all honesty, like it's too much. It's too much. Um, it's over. It's too much and uh, overly used. You know, like seriously, get a new, get a new song, to, get a new tune to play. And on top of that, I also believe that we should start, um, you know, offering solutions. You know, offering solutions, giving words of encouragement, and and really, you know, knowing what it takes to get the things that we lack. If it's really like that, because it's possible. You know, people, other nationalities do it. I don't hear them bitching and complaining. They just get to work. <laughs> You'll see a whole Asian family will have some type of Asian cuisine restaurant or some cleaning company, nail salon. Shoot, they be getting, they, they, start, they pop up shop 
quick, boy. They pop up shop quick. Latin, the like Hispanic community too, man. They'll, they'll turn a, a Ford Ranger into a, a Dodge Ram 3500 real quick. Like, seriously. Like, I remember I worked on a construction site and um, they were the bricklayers. They were all Mexican. And, you know, everybody else was like white and there were like a couple black guys or whatever, like doing regular construction and they were like doing the roofs and I was there for the plumbing. The Mexican team would come an hour early and they would, they would come an hour early before everybody, they would stay two hours later and they would get done with their project like weeks in advance, like weeks. Like they would be in and they would be out. They, like, they would be straight getting the bag. Like it would be absolutely insane. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got a freaking thing in my nose. But um, it would be absolutely insane. And I'm like, dude, they out here, they out here getting it, getting it. They out here grinding. They out here outworking somebody like in, working 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 everybody else into the floor like i'm gonna be honest with you I was, it was pretty impressive and their pace because you get to watch it because they would throw the bricks there was like this thing where they would be tossing the bricks up and they would just catch it plaster it do do it toss up a brick he would put the cement on and he would put it in place and it was they were like a machine and they would go at it all day bro all day they only took like 15 minute lunch breaks freaking insane um, that, that's what we need to be on, like for real. Like, let, let, let's get with it. Let's change the mentality. Words of encouragement, um, pushing each other forward, you know. And that's it, man. That's all I got to say. Let me know if you, if you guys ever heard that. How did that make you feel? You know, you're going to have to work twice as hard. I and mean, you really think that's true, and it's not. It's not. Like, it's not. You think that, like, uh, so, so terrible. Yeah. Like the video. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good day. I'm out. Peace.